In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at adding a call to action, a button that takes a visitor to another page. And you can see an example of one right here, find out more. Uh, you can have them so that they say buy now or whatever you want it to say. They're really easy to add. We're going to go straight into the editing page. So this is my page. We're going to add a new button into this page. We're going to call it buy it now or something like that. So basically, to add these, it uses this tool right here, the simple button. The way that it works is you put your cursor where you want your button to be shown. So let me just put one in the center here, and I'm going to click on, so I put my cursor into the space where I want my button to show, click on the simple button icon. It gives me some text, but obviously I can change the text. This is the word that's going to appear on the button. So I'm going to say buy now. Uh, then you put in the URL of the page that it's going to. So the URL is the web address, the unique resource locator of the page that you want your visitor to get to. That might be uh, a shopping cart page, it might be uh, a vouchers page, something along those lines. You will find the URL in your price plan if it's a shop price plan, or it might be going through to a collection, in which case you would use the direct URL or the page URL if you're taking your visitor through to a page. We then have the font size. That's the size of the text that is going to appear inside the button. So let me make it larger so that you can see it change. You can see an example of it right here. That's our button as it, the way it looks right now. We've then got the border radius. At the moment, my border radius is five pixels. Now, the border radius is the curve of the corner. So if you want a sharper corner, you could change that to zero, and it will be absolutely square corners. If you want it just slightly rounded, then maybe two pixels, and you'll just see it just gets a, a very slight curve on those corners. So you're able to change the shape of the button that is going to be shown on your website. And then finally, you've got the background color. Uh, you can put in a, a, a hexadecimal value, so black, all the zeros is black. Uh, or you can click on this button here, and it will show you some examples that are already in there. And then your button will be that color. So you're in complete control of how the button is displayed, the color of it, the words that are in it, and of course, where it's going to go to when the customer clicks on that button. So for me, I'm going to say right now, I want it to go through to the imagefile.com and then click on OK. And it then displays to you in your rich text editor in the design that you've created. So if we view the web page now, you can see that the Buy Now button is there in the color that we selected. And when I click on that, it will take me through to the Image Files homepage, a great way of bringing the visitor to the place where you want them to perform an action like purchasing or booking or something like that.